All right, here's my 2023 300 XCW hard and durable build. It's pretty much all I ride is tech stuff, so it's purpose built for that. Uh, I'll start in the front, running the Golden Tire 216 AA Fatty. I have the plushy Nitro Moose front and rear. Have the SXS lower fork lug guards. Way, way, way beefy and way better than the cheapy little $20 Cherby's ones. They are super solid, made out of the same material the skid plate is. Um, I haven't done it yet. The rear's done, but this reminds me I need to do this. I uh, safety wire all the cutter pins on the brake pins so you don't lose those. Running the Protec lower fork guards, these wrap around quite a bit farther than the stock ones and help you prevent ding in your lower fork tube which I've done twice in the last couple years and it's a pain and it's expensive so this is a good insurance policy to help prevent from doing that uh, motion pro light lock rim lock I balance my wheels front and back I have probably six or seven miles of dirt road and paved road to get to where I ride normally and it's just annoying going down the road just you know 45 50 miles an hour just bouncing away so this makes it a lot smoother and well smooth so i always do that to my bikes and i'm not racing motocross i'm not super weight worried about a couple ounces here and there not a um, weight person so run those i'm running the skf mud wipers uh all the single track especially up in the snow and rivers and stuff when you ride up in the rocky mountains that just destroys your dust seals and oil seals and this helps keep them from getting contaminated and ripped and leaking. So I always run those. Have the, a lot of the stuff I brought over from my last bike, which was a 22, 300. So I have these, I've had these for a couple of years. These are Cherby's wrap around Velcro on fork tubes, um, protectors. And underneath those, I have a set of E-line carbon fiber wraps. I've just had them for several years. So it's just an extra layer of protection to help from Denting and damaging my fork tubes. Then I run the wraps up top also, just a little extra protection from denting stuff. Have the Baja Designs XL80 light, awesome light. Moving up, SX, SXS hand guards. These are very sturdy, stout, but flexible. They won't break, and they do a great job of um, being hand guards if you don't want wrap rounds. They have two mounting options. One is to take the orange flags off your stock perch, you know, perch mounts and just mount them direct to that, which is what I do. Or they also make a built aluminum clamp set that goes on your bars that you can connect the hand guards to the clamps. I like this method. But be aware, these are so strong and unbreakable that they will actually and can break your clutch perch or your brake perch had it happen to me once i have a couple friends that has happened but in all honesty the situation when they broke it was pretty um traumatic like a lot of other stuff brands and types would have broke so these aren't breaking this well with that being said i'm running the s3 clutch purse clutch perch support brackets it just fills the void between the master cylinder and the handlebars to kind of help you know brace for any impact well an impact that goes like that um so just uh i'm trying those that i've never used them yet before but they fit good and they're actually made out of metal i thought they were plastic on the internet but they're metal and also just use metal ties you know zip ties to secure your hand guard don't use the big plastic zip tie ones they'll always break they always do i run these metal zip ties on this and on my swing arm guard which i'll show you in a sec I'm running some neck and bars. I don't remember what bin they are. It's a bin that I like. Uh, I have a KYB insert kit from the ride shop, Johnny Weissman down in the Phoenix area. He did my shock too. I forget who makes this piece, but it's just a 3D printed plastic piece that goes over your oil tank filler cap to kind of keep the dirt and grime from getting under the cap. And then I run a grip donut underneath that just to kind of completely seal it off. 
Uh, well, nothing much else going on other than uh, just some ODI open-ended grips, and then I run the ODI bar bar ends in it just to help protect the grips. I've just got some waffle grip donuts I like. Running a Cherby's tank, 3.2. Do a lot of longer rides. Don't like packing gas, so this works for me. Just getting ready to go up to Wyoming here in a couple hours for its maiden ride. I haven't even, well, I've run up down the street, but it hasn't been on a trail yet. I got tired of dealing with the vent hose to the steering stem or the other spot, so I just run this. It works great. Just keeps it out of the way. Uh, run the bulletproof designs. Try to stay out of the sun. Uh, radiator guards, supports. These things are a bomber. You're not bending a radiator, and if you do, you're going to bend and break a lot of other stuff, probably including yourself. But I ran these on my last four bikes, and they are awesome. Uh, E-Line carbon fiber pipe guard. Um, I did a comparison side by side P3 versus E-Line. At least on the pipes that I compared them on, the E-Line was a much better fit. It was a snap-on fit versus the P3. It wasn't a snap-on fit. It was a clamp-on fit. So if uh, you didn't have the clamps on the P3, it would fall right off. This, you could probably take the clamps off and run this pipe indefinitely, and it would probably stay on until you start, you know, destroying it. But uh, great product. I love it. It's worked good for me. Have the KTM hard parts exhaust flange support that orange anodized piece helps uh support and splint the exhaust flange in case you take some super hard hit that it transfers all that energy to the exhaust flange i've never had it happen nor have i had any personal friends happen to them but i've heard that it has happened so i figured it's a good insurance just to put that on sxs skid plate john seahorn seahorn extreme slide plates awesome skid plate unbreakable slides over the stuff really well and they are mounted for good like these are not popping off popping off by accident that you see a lot of other skid plates do that's what i'm running there okay have the i'll show you from the other side too but i have the samco thermostat delete radiator hose kit a lot thicker a lot stronger i don't need the thermostat i live in southern utah it's hot here um I mean, it can get a little cold, but long story short, when I ride, I'm riding the whole time. I'm not stopping and letting it cool off where I need to sit there and rev it up to get it warm. So um, I've had issues where I've had cactus poke through radiator holes to, or hoses and cause me some issues. Um, it's hard to see, but I'm running some protect. Basically, they're the bar. They come stock on underneath the bar pad on these bikes. That black plastic piece, I put that on the back side of the radiator hose to help protect just in case the radiators get bit back and go into that torque screw power valve cover. The radiators, uh, they're not getting bent themselves, but the brackets may bend back, which I haven't had happen, but I know that lots of people have poked holes in their coolant hoses because of that bolt there on both sides and the stock hoses. So that's why I run these Samco's and then I put that guard on, it's just zip tied. All right, Dirt Tricks counter shaft sprocket washer. It's a higher quality spring steel that can be used over and over and it won't lose its shape, which if you uh, get a dome washer that loses its shape, it fails to keep a constant pressure on the counter shaft sprocket, which in turn will let the sleeve that goes over the counter shaft back out, which has an O-ring on the inside, the, you know, the motor side of it, and you'll start getting a counter shaft oil leak. Bulletproof designs, um, throttle body protector, V-Force rad valve 4R, running that. I also did the, so let me see it here, the idle mod. So basically made it so I can adjust the idle with that and not have to use the air screw, which is that flathead one, that copper one. Um, that way I can adjust them independently. Running the zip tie, that's hard to see with the glare. Zip tie inline fuel filter, it's cleanable. You can unscrew the two halves and clean out the filter material. I think it's like a 10 micron filtration and it comes um, ready to fit right into the stock connector and the zip tie filter still accepts the 
stock little cone fuel filter, which is nice. All right, backing out, running the IMS core MX pegs. They're narrower, well, they're shorter width-wise, not width-wise, length-wise this way, than the enduro pegs. I like the narrower profiles to fit through stuff easier. And these are 10 millimeter lowered and 10 millimeter back. I'm 6'1", and uh, hard endurance it's just lowers your center of gravity and just opens up the cockpit a little bit. So running those, I've uh, ran the non 10 millimeter down and non 10 millimeter back version for quite a while, and they are super strong. I've never bent an uh, IMS core foot peg, but I've bent lots of other pegs. Um, yeah, they're not super light, but I'm not super worried about all this you know weight stuff. But they are definitely strong. Um, I greased all the swing arm bearings, steering stem bearings, and then packed all the wheel bearing. You know, actually, you're not actually packing the um, sealed wheel bearings, but you still can pack grease around them just to kind of keep the water out. So I do that on my on all my bikes. Uh, so a Crosslink components swing arm guard, new company, newer company, super solid. Um, good swing arm guard. The $20 Cherbys ones, they break, they don't stay on. I got, once again, the metal zip tie. That's not coming off, nor have they ever. Matter of fact, the Cherbys guards would break before those zip ties would come apart. They got a really nice mounting system here. They have a bracket that is mounted on the inside of the guard itself, riveted, and that's just a L, a 90, and it goes on the front side of the locking bolt for your axle adjuster or on the front side of the locking nut on your actual axle adjuster bolt so super solid super solid i had a buddy that uh turned me onto these and i've never used them but man they seem solid they're not coming off they're not breaking bulletproof designs chain guide tab protect support um just keep it from bending and breaking these tabs as easy with as without it TM Design Works, chain guide. I bumped the gearing down from a 50 to a 49 on the rear and from a 13 to a 12 in the front. So it uh, changed my ratio, lowered my ratio a little bit. Um, recently I've been getting into some pretty steep uphill single track that second gear was, it was a little tall and I very rarely use first. So by lowering this gear ratio, well, you're increasing the gear ratio. So it's going from like a 4.84 up to like a five something. Um, it's making second gear more usable, which is shorter um, in my case. So uh, I won't be in first as much, but second's more usable. Um, most pro light lock, rim lock, balance the rear wheels too. All right. What else are we missing on this side running the uh, PowerCore 2.1 Shorty. I like the feel of the Shorty versus the long versions. Um, with the hard Enduro, I like that bottom end torquey feeling. I don't need the, or like the super wrapped out high-end um, type of feel. So it does good for what, what I use it for. Rear tucker strap, a must. I don't use the front that much, but the rear I use all the time. Running a funnel web air filter. I've always ran those, like them. Do good. So we got over here. Same stuff. What else? All right. So another shot of the Samco radiator, really coolant hose kit. Oh, I put a Trail Tech fan on. I put those on all my bikes. Um, this is the version that which I recommend goes right back to the battery. Um, there are certain models that will work with the stock harness, but a lot of them don't, and you don't have the ability to change the thermostat or you know the, the setting of when the fan comes on. I have mine set at 185. You can see I have a aftermarket head on. This is the two-stroke performance at a South Bay Moto performance. They're the US distributor for it. Two-stroke performance is out of Australia. This is actually the high compression head. That's just simply because I'm going to Wyoming tomorrow. So we're riding 10 to 12,000 feet. 
But down here in southern Utah, I run the medium compression head. I also got the ECU reflash from them, which makes these bikes run really well, gets rid of the pipe bang, adds more oil, just works really, really well. Um, they do have you, and they send it with a kit. They do have you run a, I think it's a BPR9 EIX plug instead of a 8 series. No, no, this is a, sorry, a BPR, um, BPR8 EIX instead of a 7 series, if I'm not mistaken. Um, anyways, they send the correct plug. Run the stock pipe. Um, I stole this cover off my last bike. Carbon up, carbon fiber clutch cover, undestructible. I have put my brake pedal through a stock clutch cover before, and that's not happening with this. Um, I'm running the clean, clean speed, uh, I don't know what they call it, shorter brake pad. It's closer to this foot peg, so the distance from here to here is shorter. I've been trying to focus on riding the balls of my feet more often, and it's tough to always break that, you know, form to move your foot out to touch the brake pedal pad so I'm running this I'm gonna try it out I think I'm gonna like it a lot that way I can keep my feet more stationary and just pivot my foot uh, already talked about the pegs zoom back out what else have we got anything all right back here we have the bulletproof designs rear caliper guard um, help protect the caliper and you can see on my pins, how I have those safety wires so they don't pop out. I haven't lost a pin ever like that, but I have lost them otherwise. And then running the Bulletproof Designs rear disc guard shark fin. Awesome, awesome product. All right, what else I got? I don't know what else I'm missing. That's about it from what I can remember. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them if I know the answer and I'll try to get the answer if I don't. All right, hope this uh, may have given you some ideas on what to do and what not to do, depending on what type of riding you do. And uh, take care.